all you anime Americans? Well, YouTube's done it again. They've changed their algorithm focus from watch time to engagement, meaning likes, subscriptions, comments, shares, etc. I don't know, burrito? Hopefully it's a burrito, but not likely. Which affects both us and all your favorite YouTubers out there. So if you like our content and want a way to support us, if you would leave a like, some comments, and all your digital support, we will be very much appreciated. And if you want to make sure you get all things Anime America, don't forget to smack the bell near our name and make sure your notifications are on. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Everyone, this is Shen here. Yeah, you can see my face for once. I know, weird times, weird times. Well, it's been a couple of weeks. I got my lucky hat and it's time to open some fan mail. Yeah, it's about today I got fan mail from three people. But looking from all of this mail, these three people gave out quite a bit. So. The public sends these to the heroes. You could say. They are like fan letters. Whoa, for real? Are any of them for me? Indeed. Coolness. Why don't we go in and open them? I'll get to this pile in a minute. But until then, let's start with these two. Grant, I have not opened any of these, and I have tried my best to like keep the suspense till now, so I have been literally hoarding these until I have had time to get a bunch and then open them. But um, if you want to send me personally fan mail, I know it's inconvenient that we all live in different places, me, Robin, Megan, Lara, Hannah, and the rest of us. But we are trying our best, so I do, we do appreciate, I definitely appreciate it, but I do appreciate the work that you guys put into these letters. So let's, let's open them. All right, so the first one here, I'm gonna show you a slice of the packaging, yeah. Meet Derby Neal, take no responsibility for lost damages or misdelivered items. Deliveries may cause frustration, diabetes, bubblegum, and muffins. Please ask your doctor before using Derby Mail. I ripped the, um, all of these will have the corner ripped because I took out the, I took out the, um, our viewer's address, so, you know. Gotta keep the internet safe, gotta keep the injured people net safe, so I did that beforehand. But now have a look inside, let's see here. And this is from Catherine, all the way from California, so, hello Catherine. Let's see here. My BS detector's going ding! What do you mean, Hajime? Everything is I fine. can read. Not well, but I can read. And those letters... ...are backwards! <laughs> I have it upside down. There we go. Let's see. Dear Shannon, yeah, you finally have a P.O. box. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see. I just wanted to send a letter to say, hi. Howdy. But be prepared. I might send more or who am I kidding? I'm going to write more. Talk to you later, Catherine. P.S. My dog wouldn't turn into a servant eater. I know. Oh, well. Aww. And look, she drew a little cute little picture. Well, I can't draw well either. I tried. I really appreciate all the drawlers out there who could actually do something. But look, she, she drew a picture of Pom Pom Girl. And I forget what these are called. Are these noise makers? Are these just called noise makers now? Or are they just like full on megaphones? I don't know. I don't get how things work nowadays. So let's see. There's that. There's that. What is this? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know what to say about this next one. We got like a little Bible pamphlet. <laughs> We got a little Bible pamphlet. No, no, it's nothing. It's nothing wrong. It's nothing weird. We have like a little. We first he sent me this little Bible pamphlet called the Blood, and it may look weird, but it's. I'm reading it now. It's ask. It's it's a. Do a little religious pamphlet. I'll keep that in mind. What? Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you accepted anime into your life? Okay. Right, give, give me a sec. Oh, terribly sorry. I'm on a mission from God sent by to help spread the word of anime. Why you should accept it as your Lord and Savior. 
and I have something called a love story. And judging by the first pamphlet, I'm guessing this is a yeah, this is a religious. This is a religious little pamphlet. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior? No, I'm Jewish. Hmm, it's interesting. I want a huge allowance and breasts when I get older. And when I get older, I want to fondle said breasts. I pray that all my friends will become born again Christians. I would read it out now out loud on camera, but like I don't know how to <laughs> How many of you bastards gonna help me? Uh this is well I want but this is pretty interesting. No, seriously, this is really interesting. It would take me forever, so Stride forward in the greatness of his strength. I think I would just read on my own time. I don't want to like to go through every little page, but like there's like little illustrations here, like for example, all of this and and I think I'll just take my time at reading this. If you want something to happen, you just need to pray and not be a Muslim or Jewish. What? what? I have so we'll move on. Let's move on. Now, this is all by one person, and you've probably seen this person before in past fan mail videos. He sent a lot to Robin, and now he sent a lot to me, our old friend William. Here's a guy with free time. He sent me like four. So, hey, William, what's up? Always enjoy reading your email. Emails on our Gmail account. So, I am really excited about what you, because I heard from Robin, you you do some pretty good fan mail. Let's, so let's. Get down to it. <laughs> Open number one. Dear Shannon, hello and congratulations on your P.O. box acquisition. Acquisition, yet. I'm not good with pronouncing some word. No, oh, perfect. It's in Japanese. Jing chao no ning dao. Wait, that's Chinese. Luckily, I can read Barricade. So you're gonna have to forgive me, audience. By the time you read this, you'll have received the three drawings I'd sent to you, which I have not saw yet, but I will see these. Well, you've probably seen my artwork on my Twitter. I believe it'll be the first time you've seen it personally. Robin told me in an email you were feeling low. Yeah, I'm gonna take a pause. Yeah, we've been feeling, I've been feeling pretty low. My, mora my morale and creative impulse for making videos has kind of gone wany since between um, Halloween till now, it just the stress of like making videos and getting them on time and other issues in our real life. But I'm getting a lot better, so get on to me. Uh, let's see where continue where I was. So I'm hoping some art will brighten your day. Now then, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself and how I came to be an otaku. I was born in Evansville, Illinois, the youngest of my three children of my three children in a family family of five. My only exposure to, to anime then was Voltron. From days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. Voltron, defender of the universe. Maple Town, Super, super Book, and so on. In fact, it wasn't until the late 90s that I found that I found out what anime is and where it came from. As for my drawing background, I was I was diagnosed at an early age as as high functioning autism, yet developed a knack for for drawing. By doodling in the margins of my, of church bulletins, few took notice of this as yet as yet hidden talent until a teacher saw me saw me piece together a trumpet out of out of plastic shapes. You know how hard that is? Okay, okay, okay. Story time. Remember that time you're at you're in high school and you get those two bottles. You have to make the cyclone with the two liter bottles. You have to put them together with the um with the rubber band and shake them all around. That was always hard for me to do because everything always spilled out. So being able to make a some a trumpet out of plastic shapes like plastic bottles or something is a lot more ingenuity than I could ever do. Me and my clumsy hands. Art classes help me to, next page, develop these skills, so now you know. One last thing before I close, my older brother's been getting into anime, mostly action, adventure, and so on, and I'm wondering what titles you recommend. Thanks. Well, that's it for now. More letters and fan art may be on the way shortly. TDFN, William Crow. P.S. 
Noting that your birthday is two days away. By the way, these vi these things are very dated. So, belated birthday. Um, hi. Let's just say belated birthday. I'll need a I'll need to remember to send you a greeting card a week in advance. Well, what action series would I recommend your older brother? Well, first of all, I think obviously I'm gonna recommend Magi. Cause I have so for those who don't know what I like a lot, and those who are thinking about sending me something, I like Magi stuff. Everybody has an anime, especially on the channel. Robin has Sailor Moon, Megan has Tokyo Ghoul and Bakano, and I have Magi. I will, yes, the Magi review is coming before some people keep asking, but the Magi is that anime that's different in the Shonen Battle series. You're going too far. Shut up, superhuman woman. Maybe you should just calm down. You shut up too, you little twerp. It's you can just point it out to a crowd. It's got dungeon crawling. It's got like a Harry Potter thing. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of issues that I wanted to address to Magi that even make me want to go, Ugh. but I love it regardless. I also like Hunter Hunter as its dark horse cousin because they always end up being talked about together whenever I talk about Magi, Magi. And you know what, I'm gonna say, Hmm, Book of Hero Academia is the new one right now, so that's a really cool one. And if we're going to go purely adventure, let's do a throwback and say Mare. Because while well, Mare wasn't the best series, it was during the whole Zatch Bell saga era of shonen anime, it was still pretty entertaining to keep me going. I heard it did finish in Japan, sadly. They didn't finish the English dub here, but it was still fun, so yeah. Let's get on to the next letter. Here we go. Numero dos from William. This is perhaps my second letter to you. I have recently seen your review on High School DxD. I find it difficult to take an anime like that seriously if it's if it's riddled with fan service. It's the same deal with with want to be the strongest in the world. Oh, I remember that etchy. The etchy about the god dang, re god dang wrestling ring federation with females. That was a hoot. <laughs> Showy costumes and hentai undertones get in the way of a Cinderella story of professional wrestling. Being a <laughs> being a wrestling fan, I like like my late father. This sort of thing matters a lot. And as far as harem animes go, why couldn't the hero of, of this one be more like Tenchi Masaki? Yeah, it. Eh. At least he knew, at least he knew some boundaries. I think. I think enough of that. I'd really like to know what anime do you recommend for my older brother who's whose taste lean more towards sci-fi and superheroes. So okay. Okay, so which older brother are we talking about? Okay, so this, I'm guessing this is a different older brother. So last time I talked about action adventure, so sci-fi and superheroes. So for okay, so besides Boker Hero Academia, I wanna say Tiger and Bunny is the, is the other superhero one. And Steins Gate for the time traveling microwave because god dang that main character. You can't have that show without that main character. <sighs> My goodness. We are not. Let's see, where was I? Do you think perhaps One Punch Man would suit his palette? Or maybe an outer space war drama like Super Dimension Fortress Macross is better? Just thought I'd ask anyway, more later, TDFM. Hmm. Well, I already said Steins Gate, and I already said Tiger and Bunny. But really thinking about it, One Punch Man is, that, is the new one. Obviously, it's literally Sakura God the anime, as told by everybody else on the internet. And there, there is, I remember, I forget about space dramas. Back when space dramas was the big thing in the 80s and 90s. I wasn't born at the time, but I knew that was the shit during that era. And I want to say Captain Harlock is another good one if you want to go in the space drama. I still have to see it, but I've heard really good things about Captain Har the, ha the Captain Harlock series because it's been out forever. So yeah, I wanted the third letter. This one is a drawing. Ha 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 ha! Who who is who is winning now, Robin? Who 
Who's winning now? Huh? Huh? Just look at this. Look at this. All in its glory. All in its glory. And this is from the wrestling anime, but I don't care. Who just suplexed Robin? I did. I did. I did. Don't fire me, Robin. Please don't fire me. <laughs> This is fridge worthy. This is fridge worthy. I got muscles too. This is fridge worthy. Ha! 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 Yeah! Now that boosts my confidence. That boosts my ego. Alright. Oh, looks like we have another picture. Uh, let's see here. And this is from. Oh, this is Billy that, I, that I've heard so much about. From Robin's, I have a soldier from Robin. Robin told me that so. The legacy of Billy is passed on. We must pass on. We must make it the anime America meme. The the legacy of Billy needs to be passed on. All right, let's see here. And I know I have one more. Do I have one more? Yes, I do. <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God! It's a pony! It's me as a pony! Okay, okay, okay. Confession time. Uh, me and my friends I was hanging out with are like huge My Little Pony fans. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't get into the series till season three. And my like my old, my younger brother, who's literally like two years younger than me, was like, Shannon, you should you should try out My Little Pony. Why? Why should I try out My Little Pony? Because it's actually interesting. But isn't that kind of little kid stuff? But it's not real little kid stuff, really. Just give it a watch. I promise you'll like it. Okay. And then, like, I'm literally, like, three out after, like, the first episode, I'm just marathoning the whole six-season six season saga all day long on Netflix. And I'm like, thank you. That was so good. I'm a pony. I'm just a pony. I'm a pony. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm a pony. Pony. Uh, yeah, so, Billy... The bit so the re so the revival of Billy, me as a pony, and suplexing Robin, winning the title after suplexing Robin. I say I feel like that's a good way to end this video. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. This continues the chain of fan mail. Videos will be getting again. It'll be another few weeks before I do another one of these. Hoping you guys send me some awesome fan mail on this stuff, and I'll have the. Wrong. All right. I don't have the somewhere on this screen where the um address the net the address is, and I'll post these up on my personal Twitter. That's Twitter at aa shannon. So until then, this is Shannon. Bye bye.